Um, I don't know that it's appropriate yet. Okay, whatever we do, it's gonna kind of make you look not the tallest. What are, why don't I? <laughs> yeah, you do that too, spread your legs. That didn't sound <laughs> oh, too good, okay, so all right. Okay, so we're here at 2019 Self Open Dance Sport Championships. I'm Igor Shalvarov, and beside me are two amazing dancers. I watched them dance, Casey and Chip. Chip. Legend has it, NDCA has changed some rules. 2A6A, that's the one. Uh, that states that a couple is considered a leader and a follower, which means same-sex couples are able to enter the competition. Isn't that exciting or what? I think it's great. It's yeah. fantastic. It's a you guys step are in the right direction for sure. Exactly, and you are pretty much the representation of, of that. You guys danced together. How did it feel at this comp? I felt great about it. Super beneficial to actually get to dance with a pro, see all the ladies and the benefits they get from it and now it's my turn so did it feel any different because now you're competing against the sort of so to speak traditional couples what is what's the feeling tell me i think that it's too new to decide what it feels like against the other couples because it's it's so um novel at this point yeah. <laughs> you know so so it's kind of hard to judge that feeling i know um for me as a as a primarily a leader um, it's a lot of fun to do the other part of what I teach all day long so yeah. it's kind of fun to experience what my students get to experience so Casey that means you're leading okay. and Chip you're following at that moment in time absolutely and you guys are staying to that and there's no such thing for you guys to when you come off the floor because I know that during the dance you're not supposed to switch the lead and follow but when you come off the floor you guys don't switch the lead and follow correct you stay yeah. follow. if we look at the pro-am standpoint it seems like a great idea to have that sort of uh, setup going on but if we're looking at the categories the professional or amateur categories what do you think would be the pros the pros and the cons of having the same sex couples same same gender couples compete against or opposite gender couple? Um, I don't know that it's appropriate yet. I, I, I think that it's, um, it's uncharted territory, so we don't know how it's going to work out. I think that there are uh, some interesting things that you can look at. Okay. So, for example, two men that dance together are going to be stronger and um, be able to move completely differently than a couple of women. However, the woman would be so much more fluid and beautiful, and uh, so I don't know that they can really be compared. I, I think they both have pros. What about cons? Um, I, th I don't know yet. Would you say it would be appropriate for the same-sex couples to be in the same category, professional, as the um, a man and the lady dancing together, which is what the traditional way? At this time, I don't think that it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Only because we don't know what the pros and cons are completely right. yet. And I think that it should be a fair playing field. Yes. And we don't know what fair is at this point. It's so new. Uh, for example, today, they couldn't decide if I should wear my number or not wear my number while he's got his number on. And I've got students that I'm dancing with, female students. Uh -huh. So they, it's so new for everybody that I think it's still... It needs some time. Yeah, yeah. It needs time. It I needs just time. iron out wrinkles and then yeah. and then make some real hardcore rules. I do I do think as a whole though it's going to make dancing better. Casey and Chip here, 2019 uh, South Open Dance Sport Championships. Thank you for the insights. You guys did amazing today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right. Appreciate you.